Yo, it's your boy Android Doctor back again with another video. So I'm here with my Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Okay, guys. So there's some good news. The official Android 11 One UI 3.0 update is now rolling out for this device, and it's also rolling out for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So I'm going to show you how you can install this update right now. So I live here in the UK. The update is not available at the moment. As you can see, I'm still running Android version 10, One UI 2.5. And um, when I go to software update, download and install, as you can see, the update is not available. Still running the 1st of December security patch. So the update is rolling out right now in Germany. Um, it's probably not going to reach the UK till maybe the next couple of days, couple of weeks, who knows. But if you want the update right now, I will be showing you how to install it onto your Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and also your Note 10 Plus. So I will leave a link to the Android 11 update in the description down below for the Note 10. And I will also leave a link to it for the Note 10 Plus. And if you want to install it, just follow what I'm about to do right now. Okay, so first of all, you'll just need to download these two files. So download Odin and download the Android 11 update. It's quite a big file, as you can see there. It's 6.8 gigabytes in size. Okay, so once you've downloaded Odin, just simply make a new folder. So right click on your desktop and make a new folder and put the Odin file in there, just like that. And then open it up and then just right click on the file and extract here and then you can close that down okay so what you need to do now is just make another new folder and then put the android 11 stock firmware into there and then select extract here and then you're just going to extract all the files of the firmware Okay guys, so this is the German firmware. Um, I'm gonna show you all something real quick. Let me just go into about phone. And, um, okay, so here it says BTU, but it also says OXM. So that means this um, device has a multi CSC so if you go to service provider SWVER and if you if your device says OXM that means you also have the multi CSC so even though this is the German firmware once you install it onto the phone you will still get the OTA updates so um, just be sure to check that on focus camera yeah so just make sure that um yours does say let me just go back into it guys yeah just make sure it says oxm if yours says oxm 
you know that you can flash this and you can still get the over the air updates even though you're using the German firmware okay so that's still extracting Okay, so whilst it's extracting, I'm just going to put the phone into download mode. So let me just power it off. Okay, so to put it into download mode I'm just going to press the volume up and also the power button so volume up and power okay so I'm going to use the volume down button here and highlight the reboot to bootloader option and then use the power button to select reboot to bootloader okay so we're now in download mode Okay, so the firmware has now finished extracting. So all the files are in there. And I'm just going to rename this folder to official. Android 11 just to make things a bit easier as you can see okay so now I'm gonna go and launch Odin Okay, so Odin is now open. Just close that down. Okay. And now I'm just going to connect the phone to the USB cable. Just like that. okay so here where it says id com it should be blue if yours is gray that means you need to install the samsung drivers the best way to get the samsung drivers is to download samsung keys i will leave a link to samsung keys in the description down below once you download samsung keys connect your phone to the usb cable and samsung keys will install the drivers once the drivers have finished installing then you can come back to Odin, reconnect your phone, and it should then turn blue just like this. Okay, so let's just go to options. Okay, so just make sure that these two options are ticked. F reset time, 
and auto reboot and now we're just gonna select BL this is the bootloader and we're gonna find the Android 11 folder on the desktop where I saved it there it is Android 11 and we're just gonna add each one respectively so BL for bootloader now select AP it's gonna say not responding don't worry about that that's pretty much normal Gonna roughly take about a minute or so before it starts to respond again Okay, so that took a while to do. Okay, so now just select CP and then add the CP file. Okay, so this is the important part now. Where it says CSC here, if you want to do a clean flash, You're going to choose this option here, CSC, and this will do a clean flash. But if you want to save all your files, you're going to choose the home CSC option. And this will keep all your files, this will keep all your games and applications. Okay, so I'm going to do a clean flash, so I'm going to choose CSC. But like I says, if you want to keep all your applications and everything, um, choose this option here. So I'm going to choose CSC because I want to do a clean flash. Okay, so just make sure all four files have been added with the little tick beside each box and then you can just go ahead and hit start and now it's going to start to flash the android 11 firmware into the phone
So you can see the little progress bar there. And we're just going to wait for it to get to the end. So it's flashing the system at the moment. And also on the phone you'll see the little progress bar there. Sorry about the focus guys, this camera is not good at focusing. Okay, so we're halfway there. Guys, I'm not going to skip through the video. I know I could edit it and make it um, make the video a lot shorter, but I like to show everything from beginning to end so that you can see that it clearly does work. Um, okay, so we're just flashing the vendor there. We're almost done. So if this does not does not work for you, you cannot blame me guys, but um, if you have the Note 10 or the Note 10 Plus, this should work for you. Just make sure you use the correct firmware from the links in the description. So if you have the Note 10, N970F model and you live here in Europe this will definitely work for you I don't know about um, if you live across the waters if you live in America um, I wouldn't really advise do, doing this you guys use Verizon and um, all that kind of stuff AT&T so I don't know if this will work for you guys if you live in Europe, this will definitely work. Okay, so we are almost complete. And it says pass, so we are good to go. The phone has rebooted.
Okay, so you can just go ahead and hit exit. And now just wait for the phone to boot up. Okay, so let's just unplug the phone. Okay, so let's just go through the setup process. Okay, so I'm just going to connect to the Wi-Fi real quick. Okay guys, so we are in, so this should now be Android 11. I'm just going to go to about phone, software information, and here we have it guys, Android 11.
One UI version 3.0. Um, let me just show you all something real quick. Um, status information. And as you can see, my phone status is official. So yeah, guys this was just my video showing you how to install the official android 11 one ui 3.0 official firmware um if this is this is only for you guys if you don't want to wait because like it says the update is rolling out but um if you don't want to wait you can download it right now today um so yeah as you can see everything is fine and dandy um, there's no issues whatsoever with installing this right now. Anyway, guys, if this helped you out, you already know what to do. Give the video a like. Also, share the video with friends. It's your boy, the Android Doctor. And I'm out. Deuces. If you don't like this update, and if you want to go back to the Android 10, I will be doing a separate video showing you how to roll back to Android 10. Be sure to check it out. She bought the Android Doctor and I'm out. Doses.